Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? Love, my friend. We're listening for love. These readings are all focused on love. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with us. I hope you stick around. Hit that like, that share, maybe even subscribe, all right? Now, with that being said, the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a singles, a couple's. And in all signs, yeah, all right. And if you like it, you want to hang out some more, come on over on Tuesdays on Instagram. We do live for happy hours. We do discounted reads at 11, 11 and 22, 22. Jump on over there, have a good time and connect with us, all right? Now, if you're a returning family member, you already know it's a big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives, lots of damn dirty shoulder rubs, yeah! baby all right missed you loved you can't get enough of you okay now are we ready let's jump into november so on november 1st we had that new moon in scorpio i know you felt it nine degrees lots of things coming to an ending um the way that we're going to talk about this energy though with that card i'm using the loteria remedios absolutely love this deck got it out of botanica this is by selena gonzalez and it is amazing we'll be doing an unboxing and it has really added a lot of clarity and depth to the online readings now, I'm going to say that this may be a month that you are seeing repetitive numbers. Lots of 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4. And those are immediately jumping out in your oracle. However, the, the new moon energy is that of the bota, okay? The boot. It's time to do the boot scootin' boogie. Okay. Somebody is getting the boot this month. We don't want to be friends. We don't want to be lovers. And we're ready for it to end. Okay? This could also be for these boots were meant for walking. And that's just what you'll do. Aries is got no time for you baby we have some big things popping okay on the second mercury enters into sag communication is gonna get a little wet fun and reckless okay on the third mars enters into leo i said laurel into leo and um this is a beautiful energy mars is planet of action taking control you know making decisions and being in that of the sign of the leo grrr, okay that is about taking your control calling your power back and doing it looking great your hair is gonna look fabulous anyways on the 11th happy veterans day to all my veterans out there thank you so much for everything that you do for us happy birthday to my little scorpio love bug and we have venus entering into capricorn that day so you know what them capricorns gonna look good but you know hey remember Remember, when Venus is in Capricorn, love got to make sense, okay, in all senses of the word. Now, when on the 15th, we have Saturn going direct and a full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. Your, your message here with that is el árbol, the tree, okay? And I want you to just take a minute and look at the energy here. As above, so below. All right, the tree is also very significant in Lenormand to be that about health and stability. That could be something really important for you when it's coming around to the full moon. But this is about getting grounded. There is a need to ground your energy. There is a need to be out in nature. There is a need for you to take time and decide, what am I feeling inside? Because that's what I'm projecting out there. What am I feeling? What do I want? What do I need? What do I desire? And how can I grow? How can I make that grow? I also think about the family tree when I see this. So there could be some family things. Things coming up but health is going to be extremely important all right on the 19th Pluto enters into Aquarius Pluto and Pluto and Capricorn I mean Pluto and Saturn have been doing a number just pay attention to politics and everything that's being exposed I am one of those people who I do listen to a lot of what's going on I have my own opinions about it but I do feel that we have to keep our vibration high and we have got to trust the divine and in these moments of uncertainty get the popcorn baby because there's so many things coming out we, we don't even know what's to do okay it's just crazy out here on the 21st happy Sagittarius season call that sexy Sag let's go have lunch all right and on the 25th we have a Mercury retrograde in the sign of Sagittarius be prepared be prepared for any kinds of shenanigans going on there all right let's jump into this Oracle read so when it comes to your astro astrological message, you have that of the number 44. So that's where that 444 is coming in for me. Plus you have a four over here. Now, 
This is talking about your sixth house. The sixth house rules your day-to-day -day activities. What in your day-to-day -day activities can move you to the next level, make you a better Aries, and make you get on top? You know, because that's where you belong. Now, what's also important about this, and I feel like she's meditating and she's praying, I do believe that the fourth house, because of all these fours, could be important. There's a lot going on in the home and a lot going on with your health. So take care of yourself, get some rest, and be patient with yourself. Now, your next message um, in love is that of the Ark of the Covenant. There is something with um, contracts, soul contracts, karmic contracts, 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 okay? So pay attention to them. Look at what you're signing. Um, you could be purchasing new items. There's also this energy of reading between the lines. Okay, now, you have that of the spring and the fall over here, okay? In this, what I'm really feeling is what you do now is going to pay off later, all right? Especially in the month of April. April's going to be huge for you. April 11th could be very important for you also, all right? So there's something about what you're signing a contract to or what you're making an agreement with now. You're going to see the benefits in April, okay? April 11th or 2nd is super, super strong for you, okay? And the eighth, because I see another card with the eight on it. Now, when it comes to your love life, enjoy success and happiness overall with the sun. I feel like um, there was a song when I was little, the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on a deck. Anyways, this is about being proud of what you got, who you are, what you're about. Okay, not everybody is the same. And Aries, there is something about your energy that is gorgeous, it's beautiful, and that is because you put yourself first, and you are who you are, you get what you get, and I like that about you. This is about being bright, being shiny, and not letting people dim that light for you. Be proud of where you are, and I do believe springtime is gonna be your time to damn dirty shine, all right? So let's get into a... Um, general reading this is for all you know sun moon rising venus um cross watchers anybody who dips and dabbles and wanting to know what's going on hello how are you welcome let's see what we got going on when it comes to love okay we have that of patience is going to be necessary and commitment is coming all right and then we also have possibly with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn overall we have a liar liar pants on fire I do not like liars. <laughs> Nobody does, right? But the truth is, sometimes people say little white lies, like they say, and I think you're going to be catching on to some things. So be patient and stay committed to yourself, all right? All right, patience wants you to know, girl with a snake. You got to put those boundaries in place. The commitment card is saying, let's go have a cup of coffee. You could be dealing with someone who is um, with the letter C, all right? Meeting, because I have commitment in coffee cups, C, 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 okay? Y la propuesta es, es C, okay? It's a yes. Meeting and talking and joining each other, building the friendship. And then with the earth sign energy, we have the chaser. So there's a fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependency. That could be the liar in this situation. And we have the coffin with that. So new beginnings, tragic endings, and we're moving forward, okay? So remember, take the parts that fit and leave the rest for someone else. All right, when it comes to our general reading and love, in the past, what do we have? We have the damn dirty devil. You could be dealing with a freaking Capricorn, okay? So this energy, you know, it could be bad habits. It could feel like <laughs> something's getting in the way. And you're going to go for it. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to have a good time. The Three of Pentacles, you're going to work on something. You've decided to move forward. It makes you very happy with the Ten of Cups. You could be working on a family issue also. And then I have the Page of Swords coming in here. So I do feel like there could be a family issue going on. There's also this energy of like trying to make it work. And I forgot who got the color red. I think it was um, Cancer. Anyways... <clears throat> Something about red being a really good color for you because of the rooted, because it's tied to the root chakra. Then with the tree and with the springtime coming out, I think that it's time for you to get very rooted and grounded. Now I'm going to pull something out that you're probably going to think this girl is crazy. But you see how the devil here has his red coat, but he's keeping things separated, right? And then you have here, as a page of swords says, I'm going to relearn some behaviors. I'm going to do things differently, and I'm going to do it my way. And things that might have seemed impossible for you, things that might have been very different. And here we have that red feather uh, telling you to move forward. It's that cardinal energy, right? 
And it's like, Chariot, let's go for it, baby. Let's do it. Let's become this. Let's make these changes happen. I do think you've encouraged a situation that made you maybe tear yourself up from the inside. You didn't think you could move forward. There was something that was just making you feel like, I'm stuck. So you're going to take a chance. You're going to move forward. And when you move forward, you have these little three gatitos right here, right? The three kitties. And they're saying, baby, teamwork makes the dream work. And so let's see what the cats have to say. What do they have to say? Everyone's journey is different. Don't compare your path to someone else's. So Aries, it's like their life might be looking super easy and yours looks is super hard, but you have someone to back you up here with the Ten of Cups. You have friends, you have family, and you're learning new ways of doing things. This is about you going to the next level. What does the Chariot want them to know? The Four of Cups. Let's move on from... Um, this situation of comparing our situations, ourselves to other people, and let's start living our lives. I heard this thing uh, the other day about when you hug someone, hug them and hug them like that would be the last time you hug them. When you're with someone, honor that moment. Stop thinking about what you have to go do next and where you're going to be next and what's going to happen. But enjoy that moment with them because time is short. We have the Queen of Pentacles right by that Page of Swords. There is a lot of Earth sign energy coming in. So I feel like this Page of Swords is saying, look, whatever you're learning, and I told you, whatever you're studying, whatever you're doing, whether this is spiritual, um, educational, whatever it is, it is going to grow. It's going to develop. And I do see it happening in the month of April. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go to our singles. Oh, my gosh. I got, like, super emotional. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we have for our beautiful singles? What do we have for our beautiful singles? We have the guardian. So there is a loved one watching over you right now, trying to make sure you make the right decisions, Aries. And then we have health. And I, I said, I talked about that earlier. Your health is going to be very important this month. So pay attention to it. You know, start looking at the ingredients on things. Start taking some herbs. Read up on what's good for you. Get some sunlight, you know, exercise. Let's see here. Water signs. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe that guardian was a water sign, okay? But... The overall message for you is to learn to let go of something and make room for something new. And I do think like sometimes that's really difficult to do. So with just the symbolisms that I'm seeing, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies, a lot of dragonflies, things of that nature. So let's just ask this guardian, you know, give us a clue. What, what, what do you want us to know who you are? Also tied to the number 111 because it's right over the eleven. Butterflies. You're seeing a lot of butterflies. This is also the energy of someone who was around you very, very much a lot in childhood. Y'all did a lot of things together. This could um, also be the energy of Leo. They love children. They, <laughs> they adored you, actually. Um, this is also the energy of Scorpio. They could have dark hair, dark eyes, um, a very angular jaw. And they love to travel. Very strong um, Pisces energy here with the ship. They love to travel. Um, and then overall, there is something about trees, guys. There is something about maybe you guys planted trees together because the tree keeps showing up for you. And so, and it's a very, look, it was this tree, right? And now we have the similar tree. So there is something about being out there. This person also loves to be on the water and they also love to travel. So lots of butterflies coming out there. All right, let's move forward. What is their message? What does the guardian want you to know? Needing more time to heal. Do not rush, okay? With health, have faith. Love is coming. You will get struck by love. Cupid's arrow. And the water sign energy says it's time to heal. It's time to do your shadow work and let go of a karmic relationship that is triggering you. It is time. So let's jump in and let's see what your reading has for you. Lots of C's in your read, okay? I don't know. Maybe your name is Chris or Kara or Charles. I don't know. 
I don't know any C names. Chelsea? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. All right, look, I'm telling you, Capricorn energy heavy. The devil is right here at the bottom of your read. So I do feel like there is a karmic energy or maybe like a toxic relationship we're trying to release. The Queen of Wands is here in the center of your read. And this is kind of telling you like you're the damn dirty prize, okay? You're it. You're that bitch, okay? That's you. But it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's time to go with that Ten of Wands. And, and it's so interesting that she's holding this wand up. She's like, <laughs> to say something, but I'm not. Anyway, let me just stop before I'm in trouble. This energy is like, look, you cannot pass go. You cannot collect $200. You got to go, okay? And remember, we gave the boot earlier. We're releasing this heartbreak. We're moving forward. And we are going to go into our emotions. We're going to feel, and we're going to be okay. I think a lot of times people want to... Um, <sighs> How do I get over this? Who's my next love? And you just got out of this relationship, my guy. Like, give it some time. Like, go through the emotions, okay? Because we're feeling a little heavy-hearted right now with the Four of Cups. And that's falling on top of that karmic relationship. And I also remember in the general, the Four of Cups was there too. So we're having to move away from that energy. And I think that's a lot easier said than done. I find it sometimes really hard when people are saying, well, just get over it. You know, like, if I could get over it, did you think I would? I'm just saying. <laughs> so let's see what this devil has for us. What does the devil's energy want us to know? The Eight of Pentacles, like, you've done all you can do, but it's time to go. Your time to go. Um, time to cut it off with the Nine of Pentacles. So, in a lot of Pentacles there, so you could be dealing with an earth sign. And with this situation, you could be tied to someone financially, tied to somebody because of a work situation, tied to this situation when you know you can do it by yourself, but you're just so afraid to. The Queen of Wands wants you to know there will be more offers coming in with the Knight of Cups. Accept them. Stop going back to those Five of Swords moments. And release the past with the Five of Cups. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there are a lot of angel numbers. 111, 222, 333, 444, 555. Pay attention to when you see those. And, and kind of ask yourself, what is my guardian angel trying to tell me? Or what is my guide trying to tell me? Ten of Wands wants you to know the Four of Wands. Some of you are leaving a situation that you thought maybe you were going to get married. Maybe it was going to last forever, but it's not. And it's leaving you feeling very Five of Pentacles, which means <clears throat> it leaves you feeling like stuck out in the cold, kind of all alone. Why were we always in secret? Why couldn't I be the main chick? Why am I always the side chick? Or why, am I, why are we hiding what we have, you know? And you're done with that. Three of Swords, what do you have for us? The Knave of Swords. And, you know, here, I'm trying to cover it because here we have someone being admired, right? Very much admiring them. So you're kind of letting go of the energy of maybe of someone always wanting to call you for that hookup. Maybe they make you feel really good physical, but they're not really paying attention to your emotional side. You want to have the full package with the King of Wands. So now we have the King and the King, Queen of Wands, okay? And sometimes when they come out together, they're like, I'm down if you're down, let's do it. And it's like party time, right? But I kind of feel like you're leaving behind the Knave of Swords. And that's someone who likes to talk a good game, but they're not there for that. They might be a spy, so whenever they see you getting close to someone, they come back really quickly. And you're like, no, I'm going to go look for my King of Wands. I want my, I want someone I can connect with on a real level. And the moon says, let's go for it. Let's go for a new beginning. Let's enjoy this with the fool so that we can get to that higher fit level, to that higher love. So this is really interesting. You have both the devil and the higher fit in this situation here. So it's almost like, where do you want to go? It's like good cop, bad cop. What's going to win, right? And it's your choice. Are you going to keep going after this person who you feel very tied to, right? And then I see these candles here. So I do think a cord cutting, um, a cord cutting ceremony would be good, a meditation, something of that nature to release this karmic tie that you have to this individual. Now, this King of Wands wants to be there for you, not just physically, because yes, they're both um, undressed, but he's holding her. And there's an embrace, and there's love, and there's peace in that moment. The Four of Cups wants you to know something's got to change. The Death card. And you have to make that decision with the Two of Swords. 
what are you cutting off Aries if you're looking for a long-term situation you're looking for someone who is going to come through for you who's going to be there for you who wants to make the magic happen or are you going to continue going back to that karmic connection back to that situation ship back to that one that makes you not feel like you're more than enough the one that makes you feel like all they do is call you for a good time because damn it you are a good time <laughs> you damn good time but you're more than that and once you start realizing that that person is love bombing you and kind of stringing you along as your guardian has been trying to tell you and possibly with those significant numbers that will move you to the next level so um let's see who's coming in for you okay we're, we're gonna see who's coming in for you who's coming in who's the new boo who's the new boo let's see we have the gentleman. I do think this person could be a little bit darker than your usual type, okay? Taurus energy. Porcelain like skin, very beautiful skin. I always think of like old school Hollywood kind of skin. Very nice skin, okay? Cancer energy. Here's that tree again. So with the tree, this is about, um, I kind of feel like this person, and I'm going to say something, this person has really good mental health for some reason. I don't know why I'm going to tell you that. Like this person is a super solid person. They're very grounded. So we have Taurus energy. We have Cancer energy. We have Capricorn energy with green eyes. They're very healthy and they're very tall. This person is also like probably works in the field of mental health or in healthcare. Um, we have the child. We have Leo-like energies. This person is young, fun, and full of stunning energy. All right? Okay? Okay, Aries? And I kind of feel like this person is new. Like, this is a new kind of vibe for you. All right? Let's get some clues. Let's see some clues here. Oh, my ear is ringing. I do think the 13th could be important because I keep seeing that number come up for you. Okay, the gentleman, there's something about the heart. And I'm going to tell you, I just pulled the oracle cards for Leo. Leo pulled this heart also in a different deck. So there's something about maybe this person is um, healing their heart, all right? But they're also someone who likes to talk a lot and get to know you. They are also very focused on their health with the pair. And we have someone who likes to get up, go out, and do something. They are, like, super smooth, okay? They're a great dresser. And something ended for them recently, but they're moving to the next level and they're ready to move forward. I'm telling you, this person dresses well, okay? Super, super good dresser. All right, let's see here. What are some initials? We have the initials of I. I pulled too many. I, U, M, and N. Mooney, I'm just like, what is going on with these names? Anyways. Beautiful energy coming through there. Let's get a little bit of oracle guidance. And I want to talk a little bit about these new cards that I just got in the mail called Vessel. All right. Super cool cards. Super, super cool cards. I don't know if I ordered them because I don't even know half the time what I'm doing. Um, or it's probably ADHD or someone sent them. So whoever sent them, thank you. They're absolutely amazing and they add a lot of depth to us. What do our singles need to know moving forward when it comes to love? We have to know our worth and know our value. We also have to stop cheating ourselves out of living our best life. And this is a lot about abundance. Look, you need to know your va value. You need to stop cheating yourself, okay? And you need to start realizing that you are abundant. And that is having the patience to move forward. What do we need to know with that door of value? We need to start valuing ourselves. Begin valuing yourself financial constraint we're healing that we're, we're working on the way we say things to ourselves and the cornucopia says we need to be abundant in our self-care and patience says forgiving yourself is very important there's a lot about you really changing the words that you use when you talk to yourself aries all right so that's what i have for you let's go into our beautiful singles and ready to mingle what do we have singles so we're releasing, uh, the singles are le leading the karmic relationship. Now we're going into couples. Sorry, I'm still stuck on singles. My bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. All right, we have here fire signs. Ew, ew, ew. Aries, Leo, Sage. All right. They'll be back. Uh-oh. Expect to hear from someone soon. Remember, we do have that uh, Mercury retrograde coming in at the end of the month. Make room for the new uh, Let It Go, baby. And we are working on our communication skills, boo. Yes, we are. Why? Because we need to. All right? We are not perfect. Okay. Let's see. What's up with the fire signs? What do we need to know with the fire signs? 
Cupid's arrow. Struck to the heart. Where's Bon Jovi? Okay, I think it was Bon Jovi. You're in love. I'm in love, girl. Ah, so in love, girl. Y'all remember that song? Girl, you know it's true. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you. I had a home really vanilla phase when I was growing up, and they're coming back, and I'm super happy. So they'll be back. The relationship is over. No second chances. So the person who wants to come back, no se puede. <laughs> no, thank you. The, I don't know what you got going on now, but as you said, no, I'm good. You let go of it. You made room. There's some, some bitterness. We're sad, bitter, and cactus, okay? We're going to communicate cutting it out. Cut it out, okay? We're not dealing with that. We stopped the pattern. This should have been the singles read. I don't know. I kind of feel like what, whatever you're going through as a couple, right? So let's say someone is trying to come into the relationship and they don't necessarily belong there. And you or this is a situation of you're like, look, I just can't do this relationship and I'm ready to cut it out, okay? So you go where you're at and we're just going to do the reading, okay? So let's see. I don't even want to do it because the courts are nervous. <coughs> what is their person's story? The sun. There is a truth being exposed or something coming to light. Very strong Leo-like energy, but it's a yes for them. You, They're thinking about the hangman. Things that are keeping them stuck that they need to release. And they're seeing you as a seven of swords. This is kind of telling me like this person is afraid that you're stuck on your ex or stuck on the past or stuck on something. And they're afraid. Five of Pentacles. Yep, they're holding back. The Page of Pentacles comes between you guys. So someone says, stick a quarter in that slot and let's get it rolling, baby. To the King of Pentacles. Overall energy, the death card. So you have death twice here. One literally just tells you death, okay, in the death card here. So literally, literally, some got to die, okay? Whew. We're going to leave it there, and we're going to move forward. So I kind of feel like in this situation, what we're really dealing with is someone who, um, they need a change. We need a change, and if something does not change, then we are going to move on, okay? We're going to move on. So, the sun. Why is their story the sun? What is going on here? The seven of wands. So, this person, I want to say something was brought to the light. Either they did something behind your back or they think you are. And you know what? I did a domestic violence presentation with another agency at my college. And um, there was something they said about trust, okay? Um, trust is not earned. We It is given and then if it's broken, then that is your choice to stay or go. No one should be giving each other passwords. No one should be showing each other things like that. Like, if someone doesn't trust you, it's time to go. This is unhealthy. That is very unhealthy, guys. We don't need to do all that. Seven of Wands. And I am a survivor of domestic violence. Um, and I don't talk. I do, I do share it a lot, but I don't talk about it on here a lot. Um, and I will say this, that... Um, Pay attention to the red flags before it's too late. Pay attention to those things that um, are a matter of life or death in the future. I was lucky enough to survive it and to live through it. Um, I share a little bit on my Instagram. It's it's a posted story. I'm not going to give like too many details, but uh, I will say pay attention now. Okay. So I have the seven of wands in the chariot, which is a double seven. Somebody is lying about something that has been brought to the light. Okay, so we're trying to move on from that. It is a burden with the cross. Let me see right here. There's that information, and it's spreading. So somebody heard something, okay? Somebody heard something, and it was brought to the light, and they're hung up on it. The hangman is here with the Ten of Wands, okay? The Ten of Wands is saying something was a little too heavy, and... They're thinking Aries energy. Aries is not playing. Aries, I don't know what you found out. Okay, you're not playing. Because <laughs> you're like, what? Like, Aries is like, what? <laughs> I would never make an Aries, man. King of Cups. And you just like chilling. You're like, I heard the lie. You'll see the number 777 also. And I feel like a little birdie told you, Knight of Pentacles, one more, one more. And then we have the Five of Wands going on here. So here is like, you, you're like in conflict 
with what somebody told you with the king of cups showing up and then I have the devil at the bottom of the deck so I just kind of feel like whoo whatever you found out my friend they gonna pay five of pentacles with the five of cups uh, kind of feeling left out in the cold that's how they're acting like they're like Damn. <laughs> page of pentacles with the knave of swords two pages Two pages are coming out. One with one has proof. Here you go. And the other one says, let's talk about it, okay? With a sword. So when it comes to two pages, that's information. What is this information? The hermit. Three of wands. Knave of wands. <coughs> three pages is also significant. And I'm going to give you this um, just from how much I've read. Um, three of pages is significant to somebody's health. It's also significant to um, driving safely. So please drive safely out there. Someone was holding uh, back about something they wanted in the future, and now we're stuck. Why does it end in the King of Cups? Why does it end in the King? Uh, I mean, the King of Pentacles. Here's the Empress. She knows her worth. And she's moving on, Six of Swords. So I'm not telling you you're breaking up, but there is a damn dirty change coming. And look, oh my gosh. Can't make it up. Death, death, and death. I like, I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to find it in the video, and I'm going to post this as like the cover page. Because you cannot make that up. You cannot make that up. When it's telling you something's got to change, something's got to change. Somebody got information. We're cutting this off. We're not doing it anymore, Aries, and you're done with it. You're done. I don't, I mean, whatever. Either you're going to let it go and continue living in shenanigans, or you're like, look, you either or get off the pot, okay? Because we're not doing that. Something has to change. You got the death card out of three different decks. All I'm going to say is, wow. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I don't know if y'all remember that show. Um, Blossom. Whoa. <laughs> like, that was, like, intense. So, I do think that they'll be coming back. I do think the truth is coming to the light. The roosters are coming home to play, Bobby Boucher. Okay? And I don't think Aries is going to play with it very much after all. Okay? After all. Now, we're going to leave it there. I'm gonna um I'm going to go and ask the Lenormand what do they not see coming when it comes to relationships? What do they not see coming? Wow. New <clears throat> new business, new information, government agency, child support, um, very peaceful situation with a contract coming to you and information i do think we're signing something new and it's going to be quick some of us are getting like immediately married immediately divorced there's something with child support this month there's also something with signing documents remember we had that at the beginning also read it very closely all right so let's get you some oracle cards because that was damn dirty heavy let's see what do we need to know what do we need to know appreciation baby they to appreciate you all right ying to my yang you remember that ying yang in the slang okay anyways let me stop and then be strategic this month okay and we have got to keep up with our prayers you've got to keep praying you got to stay in your faith okay what is appreciation you want them to know um, the truth appreciate the truth whatever that truth is whatever it could be whatever it's about it's time to appreciate it it's time to understand that that energy is important that you needed to know what you found out might hurt a little bit but hey you know now yin yang wants you to know there's a change baby there's a change in communication there's a change in the flow and we are being strategic on how we're moving forward with the endurance and the prayer says they will support you. Your spirit guides, God, your healer. That person is coming through to support whatever brought on this Seven of Cups vibe, this feeling of gloom and gloom. You know what? Prayer, meditation, and there is nothing like calling up an old friend and saying, can we go get coffee? I need a friend. And Aries, I'm getting so emotional in your read. So I pray that whatever you're going through, you have someone that you can call. And if you don't, you can call me for a reading. All right. <laughs> I have 30 minute readings for 44 44. And we're pretty cool. We have a good time there. 
All right, let's go into all signs because that was a lot to take in. All right. We have here the Two of Swords with the Four of Pentacles reversed. This is a beautiful energy of you realizing something's got to go. All right? When we don't feel secure, security, we got to go. Pay attention to the 2nd, the 4th, the 8th, the 10th, 11th, 13th, and 22nd. Angel numbers, all of them, all of the above, 111, all the way to 777, baby, because they all coming through for you. I also feel that you're going to get uh, moved up in your career because I had two kings in your read. All right, we're ready. Here you are. Aries is a nine of cups, full of promise and full of love. All right. And they, Aries is like, we could do this. We can make it happen. It's the Genesis card. Solution, we're focused on family. There's also a trip, but there is a tower moment coming through. So I do think that maybe there is a sudden announcement of a family trip that's coming to the forefront. All right, here you are as the wheel. You're moving in karmic destiny. And Taurus is saying, can we talk about it? I want to talk. I want to talk. You are finished with the situation. You did not like the way it ended. And you are all out of love or vice versa. Lucky day is the 14th. Here you are with an unconventional look at relationships. Okay, the higher film reversed. And Gemini says, no, you cannot come over. Ooh, y'all are button heads really bad. And you are do not want to work on it. You don't want to deal with this anymore with the Empress reverse. But you're going to be strategic and you're going to move forward. These are all major. So y'all could be going through a huge situation of either a uh, breakup, divorce, or somebody's mama getting in the mix. Okay. Solution. I mean, so the lucky day, seventh. Here you are as the sun. It's a yes, babe. It's a yes. Cancer says, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And you're like, I got you, Cancer. The solution is we're going to pray about it and we're going to work at it with the Nine of Pentacles. The prayer, I do feel a prayer could be something about finances because of the Nine of Pentacles. And I do think that this is also a family trip coming up too for you. Camera, this is a lot of reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and paying attention to what we're focusing on. All right. Your lucky day is the 10th. Here you are. You're feeling a little bit defeated and Leo is heartbroken. Oh, the solution is let's fight. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. All right. And uh, you're like, no, I'm going to win. So I do feel like maybe you guys found something out. You're a little conflicted on how you want to move forward. You're going to be seeing the number 555 a lot. Leo's going to be hurt. The first could have been important. Here we are. We want to work on it. We want to be about it with the Eight of Pentacles. And Virgo said, I am tired of your miscommunication, sir. I'm out. <laughs> But we love them. We love us some Virgo, okay? And <laughs> nobody cares about the red flags. They're like, keep bringing those red flags. Keep bringing them over here, all right? I like them. <laughs> Lucky day is the 11th. You might be seeing the number 888 quite a bit. Here you are. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be about it. You don't want to think about it. You are not feeling it, baby. Princess of Arrows reversed. And Libra is hiding something that got revealed, okay? The, sun, the moon reversed. There's no strength in this situation. We're not going to fight for it anymore, and no one's moving forward. A lot of stubbornness. A lot of stubbornness here. Oh, lucky day, the 13th. We are healing. We're moving forward. We could also be very popular on social media. And Scorpio is making major decisions. Sex is great, all right? Ace of Wands, we want to initiate it. We're going to be doing it great, and it's a damn dirty victory. Ow, 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 ow. Everybody having a good time, okay? And the ninth could be important. Here you are, Aries. You do not feel secure. You feel like the world has been torn up, upside down. Four pentacles reversed. Sagittarius is not paying attention to their intuition, and they're being a little it's sneaky. Solution is there's something about work coming through, and I don't think you're feeling it with the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, you're like, look, if you ain't working, it ain't working. The fifth could be important. Princess of, <coughs> Princess of Pentacles reversed here. It's your energy. You're feeling very much slighted. Okay. And Capricorn said, come here. <laughs> come here. All right. They're like, girl, I don't care what you're feeling. You're coming in here. You're coming over here. Solution. Oh, there's information coming out with two princesses, and um, I think at the emperor over here, Capricorn Energy, don't give a damn. It's their way or the highway, and you're not moving. You're not moving. You're, you're like, if you don't want to change, I'm not doing this. You found something out, and you're not feeling it. Your date is the 18th. You are ready for some excitement and some fun with the four of cups reversed, and 
Aquarius is not feeling the words that you use and they feel like you set them up for damn dirty shame and there's something that happened in the past and there is a lot of harsh words being said right now. Lucky day the 13th. You're the king of pentacles. You're strong, you're virtuous, you're in that bag, okay? And Pisces is trying to make a decision about you, all right? And they're a little hung up on it, they don't know what's next, and they choose you. I also wanna say, you my friend, if you're with a Pisces, you're possibly getting a raise, all right? The first could be very important for you, you're gonna get promoted, recognized at work, all right? So enjoy your month, guys. If you're interested in a reading, come check me out on Instagram, I go live over there every Tuesday, and just go to my link tree and order a reading. Let's be besties. Take care.